Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. There's no doubt that Maritimers know a thing or two about fishing and even more about rough water. So when it comes to building a boat that can handle both those things, they do it well. So this week on Power Profile, we'll find out just how well as we take a look at a Seabreeze 1900 walkthrough built right on the shores of Newfoundland. All it takes is one look at the classic down east lines of the 1900 walkthrough to see this boat is built on the experience and traditions of the fishing vessels of Newfoundland. Built in Bonavista Bay, Seabreeze boats are your typical hard-working, heavy-duty boats that will take anything you throw at them, both inside and out. Outside you get a refined, high-gloss finish, and inside you get a rugged, painted finish that's ready to work. To stern, you'll find a hinge compartment protecting the battery switches, bilge pump, and wiring. There's also where you'll find the optional Scotty downrigger mounts, a full-size swim ladder, and the 90-horsepower Suzuki four-stroke outboard. These boats are made to get dirty, so there's also a wash-down hose at the stern that makes cleanup a breeze thanks to the self-bailing cockpit. The helm is clean and functional, complete with Raymarine chart plotter, compass, depth and speed sounder, and tachometer. There's a simple switch panel and VHF radio mounted to the right of the dash as well. The high sweeping bow is really accented by the stainless rail that makes sure there's no doubt this is a Down East style boat. The bow itself has an easy walkthrough where you'll find the AM FM CD player, jumper seats to each side, and a sizable storage compartment. You know, walking around the cockpit of the boat here, first of all you notice the great open space, but then you notice the stability that the flat bottom and the chines really adds to this boat. If you're fishing out in the open water, you might have one or two guys leaning over to land a fish. And if you're doing that in two and three footers, that's not the time to be second guessing the stability of your boat. The flat bottom and chine are part of the semi-displacement hull on the 1900 walkthrough that has been dependable on the east coast for generations. What starts out as a modified V at the bow evolves into a flat bottom hull in the stern with a fairly aggressive keel running the length of the boat for control and handling. The only thing left to do is to head out and put the down east style of this Newfoundland boat to the test. Now one thing about the semi-displacement hull compared to a V-hull is that you're actually always on plane. So as we go to accelerate here, you notice there isn't as dramatic a bow rise as you'd get with a V-hull. You don't have to exude that much effort and at the end of the day that saves you a lot of gas. In turns, the full length keel really bit into the water and tracked all the way around. Even for a flat bottom, there wasn't even the slightest sliding. The turns also feel more secure as there's more of a pivot motion rather than the steady bank that you may be used to with a V-Haul. It was a beautiful calm day on the water but these types of conditions were not what this boat was built for, so we had to make our own rough seas using our camera boat. Heading into the wake directly, the sea breeze hits and settles back down into the water with ease. And with the wake, the high bow slices softly like a knife with no jolting or jarring. Heading back into the wake, you can really see how the boat stays fairly level on turns and again no problem slicing through these three foot wakes. And you'll notice how the full length spray rail deflects the water out and away for a dry ride. I was equally impressed with the Suzuki 4 stroke that showed a lot of pep and speed, especially in the mid range. An acceleration test from 0 to 20 was a mere 5.1 seconds and a little over 7 seconds from 0 to 30. And in full out speed runs we registered a top speed of 47 miles per hour. Not bad for a 19 foot fishing boat from Newfoundland. You know, after finishing the test ride on this boat, I'd like to say it is what it is. In this case, I mean that as a compliment. It's a hard working boat. You land a fish in it, get guts everywhere, and just hose it down, and you're ready to go again. It's got the great maritime spirit, both in looks and feel. It's hard working and a lot of fun to drive as well.